gun collection update as of 2023. So I'll start off with the handguns and pistols and we'll go from there. All right, we are gonna start off with the pistols here. Everything is empty, there's no ammunition. All the magazines are clear, all the revolvers are clear. I already went ahead and made sure. So this here, as you've seen before, is my Springfield Armory M1911 that was made in 1914. My only other 1911 I have, which is this Rock Island Arsenal. This is, uh, I'm sorry, Rock Island Armory. This was the second handgun I ever bought many years ago. It's about three and a half inch barrel and this slide like butter. Like absolute butter compared to the original actual M1911. So those are the two 1911s. And then we've got this Smith & Wesson uh, M1917 in 45 ACP as well. You've also seen me shoot this guy. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the insane trigger pull on double action. This probably has probably a 19 or 20 pound trigger pull uh, on double action. Single action is, you know, nothing. You're already right there. And it just takes a, like a little boop and that's it. Love this handgun. Then, sticking with the Smith & Wessons, I also have this 38. This is a Model 10. This was gifted to me by a very good friend. Um, it has a much lighter trigger pull on double action than the 1917 does. Um, still not light, but it's much lighter than, as you'd expect, the double action or the single action is very light. The last revolver is this little um, Ruger LCR-X. The LCR-X has the little bobbed external hammer. The LCR does not. It's got a little housing over it, so the hammer is internal. This is another 38. This is a great, this thing is so light. I have knives that weigh more than this. Um, this is a great pocket gun. If I wear a vest, I'll throw this in the front vest pocket or just in your shorts pocket. The single act or double action is pretty light. And then as all revolvers, that single action is nice and, and light as well. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 45. It's a nice little compact. This magazine has a little extender on it, otherwise my pinky would hang off. Kind of like same thing with the Ruger LCR is they're just little short handles. So I need that little extender to be able to get a good grip on that. Definitely an accurate gun, uh, packs a little punch. It's not super heavy or super lightweight. So the recoil is just medium. And then this here is my Smith & Wesson M&P uh, 2.0, 9mm. This is my everyday carry gun. The only thing different I did with this was I put uh, True Glow Night Sights on it. Um, so those definitely are a nice little touch for if your house is dark or you're out at night, you can see the little glowing on that, which is just a little bit better compared to the regular uh, sights on the other one. Like I said, this is the one I carry every day inside the waistband. This is the first 9mm I ever owned, and I gotta say I'm a pretty big fan. Moving along, still with the pistols. This here is the Palmetto State Armory AKV-9. This guy is a 9mm. This is a standard capacity 30 round magazine. This is an AK-47 platform in 9mm. It does lock open on empty, which is nice. You've got the 
safety with the extender so you can actually hit it with your trigger finger which is nice it's got a nice little comp on it it's got a railed dust cover that is also hinged this is just a pistol no brace this guy is really fun to shoot i did a video on it uh not too long terribly long ago that guy is definitely a lot of fun to shoot and then in the same vein this is also a Palmetto State Armory. This one is the AKP-7. So this is also a pistol. This one is in 762 by 39 instead of the 9mm. Otherwise, they are the pretty much same. It's got that same safety on it. Hinged dust cover with a rail on it. This one's got a different comp on it. Standard AK-47 magazines. This one, I don't believe, holds open on empty. This one does not hold, hold open on empty. But again, otherwise it is almost the exact same as the other one. Again, no stock, no brace, just a pistol. Alright, now that the handguns and pistols are out of the way, I guess we'll do rifles and shotguns and we'll just go oldest to newest. So the oldest I have, 1901 dated Winchester 1897. This is not an actual military model. This was a, uh, best I can tell, a riot model. And I just put a reproduction World War I heat shield on here with the bayonet lug. You have seen me do videos on this guy already. It's got a little uh, shortened stock with some rubber nailed into it. Like I said, 1901. Still works like a charm. This is a 1916 dated Lee Enfield, number one Mark III. This is a 303 British. So it's bolt action. It's got a 10 round magazine. 1916, 303 British. This one is a 1918 dated M1917 Enfield. This is made by Remington. This is another bolt action. This guy is in 30 out 6. Rock Island Armory. Or actually, sorry, Rock Island Arsenal. I get those two confused. This is an M1903. Uh, I believe the production date to be in the 20s. And this was a um, arsenal restora restoration uh, in 1944. It was rebarreled and probably touched up and, and uh, ready for World War II in 1944 by San Antonio, Ar San Antonio Armory. 30 out 6, M1903. Little tidbit. Everyone considers this the battle rifle of World War I, when actually the M1917 that I just showed was used and distributed more than the 1903. Just a little information. This is a 1939 dated K98K, German World War II rifle. This one is super cool because it is an Israeli rebuild. So at some point, most likely in the 40s to 70s, I'd say 40s to 60s, this was shipped over to Israel. They reboard it into a 308 instead of an 8mm. They did some stamping on it. I have a whole separate video on this guy here, as most of these guns will do. 1939, German K98K in 308. 1943, dated Springfield Armory M1 Grand. Nineteen forty four dated inland M one carbine. All right, that takes care of all the actual Milserp rifles. This guy, I've done a video on this before. This is a newer, obviously. ATI slash GSG, so American Tactical Imports or German Sports Guns, semi-automatic MP40 pistol clone. 
So there's no folding stock. So this is a pistol, nine millimeter, standard 30 round magazine, semi-automatic. This is newer, but is a hell of a fun gun to shoot. Here we have my American Tactical Imports AK-47. Um, I put a Midwest Industries quad rail on it with a um, Magpul AVG, Magpul Mo Grip. I put this on there before they even made them for AK-47s. So there's actually an adapter on there. Um, this is a VLTOR adapter for an AR style uh, stock, and that's also a Magpul stock. The cool thing about this guy is I actually had this custom built by a company that is no longer around called Lightning Bolt. So as you see, there's actually a left-handed charging handle as well as a right-handed charging handle. So I sent my bolt in and the dust cover. They welded on, very nicely done, uh, left-handed charging handle, and then a slot in the bolt. So when you knock out your mag, rock this one back in, you can just it also crept custom safety which has the finger groove right there and actually also has a notch in there see so that acts is a, a bolt hold open which is super cool but like i was saying when you knock out your magazine put your new one in you can just come off on the left hand side instead of reaching under or over or using your trigger finger so I thought that was a cool design uh, I had that done quite a few years ago I don't even think they're in business anymore but they're called lightning bolt this is my Frankenstein AR that I built forever ago um, this is the first rifle I ever built that is a VLTOR upper it is a Delton lower Magpul furniture is an AVG pistol grip stock uh, bad lever, which I'm a huge fan of on um, AR style weapons. This one I built with an Adams Arms piston kit. So came with a gas block. The bolt carrier group is different. It is all piston driven instead of direct impingement. I've got an old school EOTech on there along with a Vortex magnifier. Move that out of the way. If you don't want magnification, then just push that right over if you do want magnification. You said that was the first AR I ever built, probably 13 years ago or so. Could probably use some updating, but she works. And the last two is this little Henry 22 lever action. My dad gave this to me years and years ago. It's got the big kind of winter D guard on it. This thing is super fun to shoot, super accurate little plinker. Uh, I don't remember when he gave it to me, but that was a gift from him. So this will always stay in my collection. Even though I don't shoot it super often, it's just a sentimental thing. And then last but not least, I've got this little, it's not the Shockwave, because that's the Mossberg. This is the Remington TAC-14 that has the retro wood pump and wood little duck bill. So this is not a shotgun, this is an other, I believe, or a firearm. So it's not a short barrel shotgun, it's not a shotgun. It came from the factory without a stock. Um, I threw this stupid little plastic heat shield on it and put uh, the side saddle on it and then this fake old school World War I, World War II sling on it to kind of give it a trench gun feel before I actually got and made a better World War I trench gun. Um, this was just something fun to get. This thing is pretty fun to shoot. All right, so that should conclude this video here. I just wanted to do, I've never done one, so this was my gun collection update as of January 2023. Um, that should have been everything. Um, I kind of went through the, the back end there fairly quick, realizing I had a lot of these and I didn't want this to be a 25 minute video. So, uh, Sorry if I rushed through anything. Most of the Milserp guns I have, I have already done full videos on them. So if you want to know more about any of them in particular, feel free to go through my backlog. There should be a video on each one of those rifles, the bolt actions from World War I and the 
the guns from World War II. I've pretty much done videos on all of them. So if you want to know more about those specifically, or if you want to see them shoot, just go look back in the rest of my videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, be good.